right, guys. Um, I know I was going to sh show you um, the speed of before connecting the Ethernet adapter and after, but unfortunately the app that I was going to use to do that isn't working right now. I will place more information in the description below this video for you guys if you want to try the app out later on. Um, basically, the app connects to a server and it checks your download and upload speeds, your ping, and your jitter. And it's a very useful app. Unfortunately, it's the only one on the Google market that does this. There's no other apps anywhere that I can find that do this. The one other app that used to do this got canceled or something, or they closed down because they lost API access. But anyways, so this is proof that my Chromecast is connected to Wi-Fi. It's connected to Wi-Fi 2.4G, and I'm going to go connect the Ethernet adapter and show you guys the steps that I did it in, and then come back here and refresh this page to show you that it's connected to Ethernet. Now this page right here is my Xfinity um, cable modem or router. If you have Xfinity or any other ISP that supplies routers, chances are you can access a page similar to this. So for Comcast, I went to connected devices, and then devices, and then it shows everything that's connected to your cable modem right now. So I'm going to go over to the TV, hook up the Ethernet adapter, and sh come back here and show you guys this. Alright guys, so I've just plugged in the Ethernet adapter into, um, I have a plug thing, an extender over here, and then I have the ethernet cable it's actually going into a network ethernet adapter because i don't have wired internet over here and i've got the chromecast connected here i followed the sequence that's in the instructions which you should all do if you don't do it then your chances of this getting messed up are pretty high or at least more than 50 percent so i just checked it and it looks like it all worked fine if you look on the tv the Chromecast usually shows a little Wi-Fi icon right here. It does it for a brief moment when you first boot it up and sometimes it goes away, but it will come back occasionally and it shows your signal meter. Once you hook the Ethernet adapter in though, this goes away completely and it won't come back. That's how you know that you're connected to Ethernet. So we're going to run back over to my TV and look at the cable modem page to see that it's actually connected to Ethernet. Alright, so I just refreshed the page and as you can see, the Chromecast now shows Ethernet. And if you look down at offline devices, it shows Chromecast as offline. That's the Wi-Fi connection. So the cool thing about the Ethernet adapter and the Chromecast is if for whatever reason Ethernet stops working, the line gets chewed out by a mouse or something, the Chromecast will automatically switch over to Wi-Fi. And once the Ethernet gets fixed or you jiggle it and it comes back, it will automatically switch back over to Ethernet. And that's pretty much it. The Chromecast is an amazing device but it's got its downfalls, specifically in apartment complexes like where I live, where there's tons of Wi-Fi interference. I'm pretty surprised that Google didn't come out with an Ethernet adapter at the same time that the Chromecast came out. They waited a whole year or two before it actually came out. And even still, they don't advertise it a lot which is kind of surprising because if you search the internet one of the biggest issues is people can't connect to their Wi-Fi Ethernet or their Wi-Fi cable modem or Wi-Fi router so I hope this video helps you guys um, like I said the app that I was going to use to test the download and upload speeds and ping and all that wasn't working but once it does I'll put out another video explaining how to use it it's really easy for now, I'm going to put a link in the description below. You guys can try and download it and use it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well. I hope this was informative and helpful. And as a side note, if for whatever reason, after you follow the instruction manual and you 
install it exactly as it is in the instru instruction manual. If it doesn't work, the next possible thing that you can do is do a factory reset on your Chromecast. Let it sit for a few minutes with the power completely off and unplugged from it. Then plug it all back in following the instructions and use the app to set it all up again. That almost always works. In my case, it didn't, and I was getting really frustrated, and then following the instruction manual, it worked, which was kind of funny. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and I'll try and answer them right away. I'm always on the internet. So, that is all.